Yet another exciting segment of the interview right here on Tanokali. Now, I have a very interesting artist. Let me tell you, they breathe culture, they breathe art from everything they wear, from how... You know what, let me not get too much into it. His name is Swagadon. Hi. I do all my clothes myself, mm -hmm. all my fashion portrays Africa, mm -hmm. uh, my fabric. Mm -hmm. I design my fabric, my outfits, mm -hmm. my shoes, mm -hmm. and of course, my paint. Yeah, um, producer, mm -hmm. producing my music and co-producing with other uh, producers. Mm -hmm. um, in videos, I direct my videos. I also are the creative director. I go to areas that is Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, Nigeria, wherever. Uh, I am always there to promote Africa in its truest content. I'm originally from Trinidad, but I would say I'm an African uh, Caribbean and um, an African in all its uh, ramifications. I lived in the UK for some time, um, and then I moved to Nigeria. I live in Nigeria, and now I also live in Kenya. And I'm looking forward to spending a lot of time here getting to know the country. I've been doing collaborations with uh, uh, Kenyan artists like Prezo, uh, Rapper Rev, you know, and uh, also I'm collaborating with others in South Africa, melody and others so what i'm doing is creating a genre between soca uh, reggae plus you know uh gengetone i'm a piano afrobeat afropop it's all part of putting the african culture on the road map the religiosity everything african that's me i'm the spirit of africa the, the important thing is you show african culture in its true form uh, many people have a watered-down uh, promotion of Africa. Why? Because they bring in other people's culture. You know, for example, some of the things we don't do as Africans, we are kings and queens. We don't walk around, you know, half naked with our bottoms out. And uh, those are cultures that are adopted from the West. The African culture, we walk proud, we have our fashion, we have the way we talk, uh, we are musical, we are creative. We don't need to behave as though we are from the gutter. You know, and a lot of artists unfortunately portray, you know, uh, the adopted genres of uh, music from outside. And most of those music from outside do not portray Africans as they should portray. It's very negative. But my role as a Pan-Africanist and all that I'm doing uh, and all that I'm saying and all I'm, you know, musically implying is let's promote Africa in its true culture, its true form. My cinematographers must have, you know, some sort of affinity to uh, Pan-Africanism in the way they shoot, you know, uh, in the way uh, they are also musical, they are creative people, and they're not just going to do for example, a video, go and shoot it and show negative things. I take control and make sure that those who I work with share the same affinity. Uh, my dancers must also, you know, want to dance, you know, uh, African steps, show uh, Africa in its culture, cultural form, because a lot of our African people have natural dances that we must promote. Why, why is it uh, some of the dancers from uh, Uganda and Tanzania are so famous all over. That is because they're dancing, they're using dance steps from their culture. I went into the studio and started recording. And uh, I started recording, I already had in mind what I had to do in terms of making sure that I packaged myself in a Pan-African way. I, I have made sure that the music I'm doing you know, crosses all the borders and all the genres from the Caribbean to Africa. Because whether it was uh, African Americans who created jazz and blues, you know, and soul, Africans in the Caribbean created reggae, soca, zouk, you know, and we are all one people, musically and creatively. Music is carrying messages, and some of those messages are subliminal. And uh, if you carry the right positive message, you will influence in the right positive way. But if you carry negative messages, you will also influence in the negative way.
So my role is to promote subliminal positive messages for our youth, for our people. You know, think back. What is ours? We have our own spirituality. The Ang, Egypt, uh, the, uh, the Ethiopian cross, Ethiopia, all those we have to get back as part of our culture and part of our music. Because we have music which has vibration. You know, we have music which has vibration. And those vibrations are energy. They send out positivity, positive music. So we embrace those things and get those as part of our culture reinstated in whatever we do, musically, creatively, you know, however we walk, talk. We are musical, even the way we walk, even the way we, we talk, you talk to me. It's a beautiful tone. It's, uh, it's musical. They say Africans speak and walk and talk musically. We do, because we are part of the rhythm of the air. You know, we are definitely rhythm people and creative. Uh, look out, stands for uh, uh, Y254, yeah? Look out for Mindo uh, Swagger, Mindo Swagger, <laughs> which is a, a, a Swahili version of uh, uh, one of my uh, tracks. of have Ali Ali exclusively. You have the lyrical video of Mindo Swagger, right? Uh, also exclusively. Uh, you have Carpenter, you have African Township, you have uh, Lorraine which I produced and also uh, I did the video in Mombasa. So I'm promoting Kenya. I think the Ministry of Tourism should have a look at that and uh, uh, let's brand together and partner together to promote Kenya because I am now a Kenyan artist with the, uh, the, the, the collaborations I'm doing here. Yeah. Yeah. You can uh, go straight to the YouTube and see the uh, various videos and songs and um, uh, we are uh, Swagadon Facebook. Um, just look up Swagadon, just type Swagadon, but it's spelled S W A G G A D O N. There it is, Swagadon. And it's in all the uh, social media platforms. And look it up and uh, let's uh, Y254 the music. Final.